Hi there, this is Ramon from Resurface Labs and in this video I'm going to show you how to install and use our Insomnia plugin, API Usage Logger, to log HTTP request response exchanges to Resurface, your very own system of record. First of all, um, we need to have Insomnia installed in our system, of course. Then, uh, if you don't have it already, you will need to go ahead and install Docker. Resurface runs as a small Docker container, so we'll need Docker in order to run it. We can check that we have Docker installed by running this command in our terminal. Okay, everything is good. So now let's go to um, resurface.io slash installation. And uh, here we see a single Docker command to start the resurface container. Let's copy that and make this a little bit bigger and paste it, run it. Okay, let's double check. Looks like it's running. Let's exit. And now if we go to localhost 4002, we should see the API Explorer running. Um, let's give it a second here. And it's waiting for API calls. Awesome. Let's go back to Insomnia and click the little gear icon at the top right corner to go into the settings, then click the plugins tab, and then let's type in insomnia-plugin-usage-logger, and then click the install plugin button, and wait for a few seconds. Great. We can see that our plugin has been installed, and uh, another way to install uh, that plugin is to go to the Insomnia plugin hub at insomnia.rest slash plugins, and uh, right now it looks like our plugin is trending, but you can always find it using the search box. Let's go ahead and click on it, and uh, that should take us to the plugins page. And here you can see a button that says install plugin. If you click it, it will automatically open Insomnia and ask you if you want to install the plugin, which uh, we've already done. So now we just need to set an environment with a couple of environment variables used by Resurface. The first one is called usage lovers URL. Uh, let's go back to Insomnia and click Manage Environments and add it. This one should map to um, this guy by default. And the second one is uh, Usage Lover Rules, which will map to include um, debug, which basically tells the logger that we wish to log it all. We click done, and that's it. The setup is complete. Now let's try our new plugin. Here I have a request collection um, with different URLs, like HTTP bin JSON, which should return a JSON response with mock data in it. And uh, let's click send. And we got our fake JSON response. Um, let's click, let's try now with another few endpoints. So one of these, and one of these, and one of these, we should respond with a 500 status code. And if you're a fan of GraphQL or SpaceX, you can use their API to test for those API calls. And uh, it's good. Um, one more of these for the measure. Now, if we go to the API Explorer again, we'll see that our calls are being logged. And let's click Refresh, and we can see now all of our calls in the same place. We can explore each one of them individually, see all the details, like the time it took between the request and the response, and the headers, the response body, etc. Um, so, in fact, uh, let's do another one of these with some parameters. And a custom header. Let's then now click send. Okay, we've got a response. Let's go back to the API Explorer, hit refresh. And now we see it, see it at the top. Click on it, and we, here we can see our custom header and request 
parameters. Again, with the responsibility and all the details. Here we can see that our SpaceX API call has been correctly identified as a GraphQL um, API call. We can see this one is an error code, and so on. You can explore them in aggregate with trends for different properties. You can use views to group different API calls by their type. So whether they're failures or um, GraphQL successes. Here we can see we have two of them because this one is uh, the automatic GraphQL schema fetching that Insomnia does. That's why it's larger. Um, we can view other things like slowdowns, threats, um, you name it. You can also define new custom views using SQL. Um, you can search. There you go. You can filter. Like, let's see. Let's go with uh, request method. There it is. Let's see, equal to post. Apply, and we can see all of our post calls. We can add a new filter. Let's say uh, request URL. Is. And like, we can use SQL like syntax here and uh, apply. And that's the one. We can remove our filters, sort, oops, and show or hide any piece of information that we want. We're very excited about this project and we hope to become part of your API design and testing toolbox. Thanks for watching.